As we've been reporting all morning, our top national story is sending shockwaves through the world of sports and beyond. The unfolding child sex abuse scandal at Penn State University, the firing late last night of Coach Joe Paterno and the university's president, and overnight, police in riot gear using pepper spray to break up angry student protests. Jay Gray has been in State College all night. He joins us now live with the latest. Uh, good morning, Jay. Who could have imagined all of this just a few days ago? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Good morning to you, Justin. And it's amazing to see how this is all unfolded in less than a week. Now the legendary coach has been fired. The university president, as you talked about, also relieved of his duties late last night. And just a range of emotions pouring out when that word spread across this campus. Thousands moving into the streets. Initially, this started as a very peaceful uh, time. People just uh, somber, sad about what had happened to Joe Paterno after more than six decades as the face of Penn State football. Uh, but it did turn violent at some point. At one uh, time, some of the protesters overturning a television news van, uh, breaking some windows. There were a few arrests, no serious injuries, though, and that's the good news here as the university tries to move forward, though there are indications today that the embattled former coach Paterno may speak publicly about what's happened here. Do you get the feeling uh, that most of the students there on campus agree with the protesters that Paterno should not have been fired? I, I think, Justin, there's a real split. Obviously, the most vocal of the students uh, believe that Paterno should have been allowed to finish on his own terms to end this season, as he talked about earlier in the day. But you can talk to others who say they get it. They understand why Paterno has been removed. Uh, they feel for the victims in this case, as everyone does here. And, and a lot of people who are angry about Paterno's fate are quick to point out uh, that they feel for those uh, victims of the alleged abuse here. Uh, but there is also a faction that says this needed to be done, that Penn State needs to move forward, even though they all understand that's going to be a very difficult process. And Jay, uh, any reports of any students being arrested there overnight? Yeah, Justin, there were a few arrests. We know of at least two, and we will hear from campus police a bit later today uh, to sum up exactly how many people were arrested. No serious charges here, some vandalism, and also to tell us the degree of that severe as things were dispersed rather quickly after it got out of hand. All right, Jay Gray reporting live from Penn State. Thanks for joining us.